What's going on, everybody? Chase with IDub Hockey here today with Lee Elias from Hockey Wraparound. And we have your weighted version in front of us today. Uh, obviously, serves a real different purpose from that flagship wraparound that has been around for over 10 years, protecting composite blades outside. Let's talk about what the weighted wraparound's purpose is and how does it compare again to that OG plastic wraparound? Yeah, it's a great question. So so the weighted wraparound was born from the very first version of the wraparound that was made from steel. And and uh, it's a little heavier than the uh, current wraparound. Actually, it's a lot heavier on purpose, right? And it's, it's made of steel, right? So it's a completely different material, uh, but it's aptly titled the weighted wraparound. We knew with that version of the wraparound that not only was it allowing people to play outside, but the weight, and we added even more weight to it once we kind of committed to that name, is a great strength builder for your hands and your wrists and your forearms. And we always tell people with that one, Chase, that people go, it's not that heavy when you hold it. I said, it's not. Puck handle for 60 seconds with it and you will feel it. And that is what we always test people with when we're ever at trade shows or out there, that this is just enough weight to work your hands without being so heavy that it's, you know, I'm dragging my stick back and forth. So it gives you that feel of playing hockey while really working out your arms. And we tell people, unlike unlike the flagship wraparound, where you could play forever with that thing, um, this one you're going to need to take some breaks from because it's like lifting weights sometimes, right? So um, we always say this, and I have to get into it right. It is only for stick handling. We are It is not intended to be... Uh, for shooting, right? We're very upfront about this. This is a tool to help build strength in your wrists. It is made of steel. It is the weighted wraparound, so it's heavier, uh, but it has the same benefits of it conforms to your blade. It will be very flush to your blade and you'll be able to kind of get, I'll say a workout here um, with the puck outside. And as we have talked about in the original or the flagship video uh, and how you mentioned today, th this is really where the original came from. And uh, obviously a lot different today than what we saw that first generation almost a uh, decade ago. Decade. <laughs> but yeah. what, uh, you know, what was the inspiration? What's the story behind Wraparound? And, and you know, the weighted version, obviously a little bit different here, but, you know, uh, how does that really help the players out there looking for, you know, something to work on their strength with? Yeah, you know, it, it, what's interesting, again, it was with the first version of the wraparound, which was made of steel. Uh, we learned a lot about it. We learned a lot about how steel works with the blade. We learned about the shape of that wraparound, which is noticeably a little different than than the plastic wraparound, right? Mm -hmm. So when we made the plastic wraparound and that started selling globally and went crazy, suddenly it's like the ugly stepsister, right? Or the ugly stepbrother. <laughs> we had the steel one still there. And we had learned so much that we realized, look, we don't really want to get rid of this. Mm -hmm. um, but we did want to repurpose it and rebrand it because we knew that it had these added benefits. So again, still com completely protects your stick. Um, and I know the question I get a lot is, will this uh, cut through the stick and shave the stick? Not at all. Uh, the steel is not positioned in a way that's going to ruin your blade or take off some of that, uh, you know, composite. Uh, it's not paint, right? But but material mm -hmm. that's on the top. So that was number one. Then number two is that the, the original wraparound wasn't as heavy as this. So we added a little bit of weight to it, right? We wanted it to be a little heavier uh, than the first one. And, and thus the weighted wraparound was bored. We didn't go too far beyond that. We did know that the teeth needed to be, again, the right size so that it wasn't gonna disrupt the flow of the puck. And then the teeth around the toe, uh, we actually engineered a little bit differently because one of the early problems with the wraparound was our toe section. We talked about that in the last video as well. So we re-engineered the toe of the weighted wraparound to make sure that it was going to protect that toe. So especially in a world where now toe drag release is the preferred way to shoot, mm -hmm. we have protected that toe in a way that you can drag it. We have made it so that it gets the puck there and you can you, you can you can puck handle with it and really work on that strength aspect of, of the stick. Got to say it one more time. It is not meant for shooting, but you can simulate some of those actions. Um, the one thing we couldn't solve, which depending on who you are, you may love this or hate it, is that sound of steel scraping across the ground. Uh, but everyone's going to know you play hockey if you're using the weighted wraparound. I can tell you that. So with all that information, I have to say... It... You said you can't shoot with this, but obviously you can shoot with the other wraparound, the standard wraparound. So it really seems like you should pick up one of each, you know, work on your shooting, work on, you know, your handles and 
and really use that standard wrap around. And then when you're looking to really build up that forearm strength and really uh, to take that to the next level, that's where the weighted comes in because it's about right. half or twice as heavy, I would imagine, or how, how would you compare the weight between well, the two? I think it's even a little more than that, right? Yeah. So, so this is why I always say, the normal wrap around, the flagship wrap around, that's what you use to play. The mm -hmm. weighted wrap around is what you use to train. Oh, right a cool. little bit of difference in terms of your mentality like i would not recommend you're taking the the, the steel wrap around out to it to a pickup game right that's that's <laughs> not its intention the, the the steel wrap around is for that kid at home who's watching this right now that wants to be a really great hockey player and is determined to do the work in the gym at school and off the ice this is a tool for you now to work on building some of that wrist strength wrist strength in a non-invasive way again we didn't want to create something that was so heavy it's like you're lifting weights. You can go to the gym for that. Mm -hmm. We wanted to create something that would simulate gameplay, simulate training, simulate stick handling, and allowing you to move wherever you want, again, off of the shooting pad, with that added weight to build that strength. And it's like a weighted bat in a lot of ways, right? You know, you see the baseball players take the weights off their bats. If you go from a weighted wraparound to a normal wraparound and start playing outside, you're going to feel a difference immediately. Right. So, yeah, I think it's a great one two punch, if you will. But the, you know, the wraparound uh, plastic wraparounds for playing the way the wraparounds for training. Yeah, and that, I like how you mentioned it. You know, you, you're not trying to bring the gym outside because that doesn't translate directly into gameplay improvements. That's what I think is so cool and unique about the weighted wraparound is that, you know, you are working on your strength, but it's directly translating into the gameplay with, you know, your stick handling. Right. Obviously, like you mentioned, you're not going to shoot with it, but with all your stick handling and the training out there. Now, the installation process is is similar to the standard wraparound, but there's definitely a little bit of adjustment there too especially if you remove it so for that player i, I would imagine already has the standard wrap around they really want that one two punch of, of best of both worlds of off ice training here um you know how would you maybe walk me through installing the weighted wrap around and and anything i should do or avoid in the process yeah great question and again i'll start off with saying that the weighted wrap around also fits all sticks all curves all types i mean it's going to conform to your stick um, from a senior to an intermediate level. If you have a junior stick, we purposely did not make this for you because at that age, you probably should not be, you know, jumping into like a weight training routine um, or, or, a, or a weighted routine. So we were very conscious about that when we were making this one. Um, but installing the steel one is similar to installing the plastic one, but you want to start from the heel, drag the, the steel down the blade and then conform the, the toe over uh, with that curve, right? Now, the difference between the steel wraparound and the plastic wraparound is because it's steel, right? It's steel. It's going to conform heavily to the curve that you put it on, right? And we do not recommend it switching it from curve to curve to curve. When this thing is on your blade, it's going to stay in that shape. It will not form back or be flexible like the main wraparound is. And that's done on purpose because it needs to be flush to your stick. But once that toe is on and curled on, obviously tape it up when you're stick handling. Again, the tape will wear off the bottom in a few minutes and stay stuck onto the steel side of it to keep it in place. And then when removing it, and this is one of the problems we see a lot, people try and take it off from the toe and they unravel the toe. This is not what we want you to do. You want to take this off from the heel and kind of pull it off so that the toe curve stays intact so it does not have to reform itself. That is the optimal way to do it because if you keep taking the toe off and on and off and on and pulling it and forming it, it's going to become somewhat mutilated in the way of its shape. And we don't want that to happen for you. We want this to stay flush to the stick all the time. That's kind of the biggest takeaway. Start from the heel. That's when you kind of apply it at the toe. And then when you're removing it, just to reiterate, do not unravel the toe. You kind of want to slide it off. Right. And again, different from the regular wraparound, you can take that off really however you want. Right. right. It's going to stay in that shape. This one, you definitely want to do heel first and then just slide it off the blade forward and it'll stay in the shape that it's in. Okay. So now we have our weighted wraparound installed. I'm ready to go out and just feel the burn in my forearms. Yeah, what will. are maybe your, <laughs> your top yeah. three, uh, maybe drills to, uh, you know, really get that burn going or anything that you kind of came across that really suits that weighted wraparound application? Yeah, so I think there's there's levels to this, right? So one of the 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 underutilized I think training methods is engaging your whole body, specifically your core, you know, your thighs, and making sure that they get strengthened too. And again, if you're doing this right, everything's going to get a little stronger. So at a base level, I think the first thing I like kids to do is do that 360 puck handling around their body, 
right? Because you'll feel it in different areas. Okay, I'm a little weaker here. I'm a little stronger here. And then I would encourage you, obviously, to spend some time on the areas you don't feel as strong to start building up that strength. So that's the first place I would start, right? Is just 360 around your body. Start feeling that strength. Quick drills you can do. I said it, 60 seconds on, 30 second break. 60 seconds on, you will feel it. You have my word, right? And again, if, you're, if you've done that for a while and you're feeling stronger, do two minutes on. 60 seconds off, right? Just like the gym, in a sense, build up your repetition, build up your strength. Once you've gotten that stationary stuff down, that's where you can start moving. And this is where you wanna start creating obstacles for yourself, where not just your hands, but your body have to get involved in the drills. And because there's weight on your blade, you're gonna have to just do a little bit extra, which is what we're looking for here, mm -hmm. to kind of make sure your stick's moving. But when you translate this to the ice, man, and you feel like you have that extra strength, and, I, and we've all been in that situation where it's a 50-50 battle, you gotta come out with the puck. Your extra strength here is going to come in very, very valuable, mm -hmm. all right? And these are the areas we want it to happen. Or my other favorite one is just when you're coming down the ice, one-on-one, -on -one, two on one, and you got to get that puck somewhere else. You know, that extra strength to push it through is a skill that I've seen in really the top players. And this is just going to help you build that strength. You can't simulate that in the gym, mm -hmm. at least not to the level we're talking now. You can simulate movements, but this allows you to do it somewhat in real time with the puck. So again, depending on where you're at in your game, and again, I would recommend that 360 no matter where you're at, just to give yourself a base, Mm -hmm. It's about challenging yourselves and finding those off-ice stick handling drills where you need to get a little stronger, whether it is a toe drag, a backhand movement, right? Going from one side, quickly shifting your body to the other. I can see I'm getting excited here talking about because hockey coaching me coming out. Um, but it comes down to what identifying what your gaps are in your game and then using this tool to help you strengthen those spots. That's really the purpose of the weighted wraparound. And, and I'm just thinking about a couple games. Uh, there's this player that I always go against. I usually hope I'm teamed up with him, but unfortunately I've been on the other side and it's, <laughs> he's got great hands, but it, it's more about how quick his hands are. Sure. You know, it's, yeah. it's, that's what I can maybe even see this helping out too. It's just that quick explosive burst from the, a forehand to a backhand. That is just that split second you need to miss, you know, a player like myself stick. And then, you know, you're on your way to a breakaway. So, um, you know, that's, that's something I definitely want to pick one up and, and maybe start working on that because once you see someone with that skill set and it gets used against you, you're ready to pick it up and, and improve on it for yourself too, you know? Yeah, well, Chase, I'll tell you what I love about what you just said. And look, they're, both wraparounds are tools, right? But what I love about what you said is like, I saw something that someone else had that I want. And that drive that you're expressing right now really is the difference maker, right? There are so many training aids and tools out there and they're great. I, I love hockey today because there's really no shortage of ability to play. But the drive you just talked about is a separator, right? So if you're a player out there that has that drive, I want to be better or I want to match this person or go beyond this person, this is another tool for you amongst all the tools at Ice Warehouse, right, that you can utilize. But at the end of the day, whether it's the wraparound or anything, you got to want to put the work in, right? You got to want to do it. And again, look, the wraparound's primary purpose is to protect your blade outside. That's true of all the wraparounds that we've made right? But if you're looking to expand your game, how you use those wraparounds, whether it's the plastic or the steel, comes down to your determination level and willingness to put yourself in uncomfortable positions to get better. Well, I think we've covered just about everything in the weighted wraparound here. I wanted to wrap us up, no pun intended, with who wraparound <laughs> No, no pun is intended. Here. Yeah, pun absolutely. Intended. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just wanted to talk, g give you, uh, you know, another little second here about you know, who Wraparound is, who the Hockey Wraparound team is, and right. where production is, and, and just to wrap us up on a good note here. Yeah, absolutely, man. Look, we're really proud to be able to say that Wraparound, both of them, the steel and the regular one, are both made in America. When we created the business, that was something we really wanted to do. Uh, both on the home front, but also because we're proud about that. And then Wraparound is a family. We, we've got five employees. We work together. Uh, we take care of each other. You know, it, it would be very fair to say that Wraparound helps put food on the table at our homes um, and take care of our kids and take care of our families and allow us to play hockey as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, 
the, the whole purpose of the company is to make uh, the game more accessible and and we've tried to to preach that and live that in the the donations that we make both monetarily and then in wraparounds to underserved and underprivileged communities um we've also done great jobs giving teams deals right team deals excuse me to to, to groups that you know we know that a wraparound is priced about 10 percent of what a stick costs it's done that way on purpose because it's going to save you that money in the long time but when you got a kid a team of 20 30 kids we know that that can become a little costly so we work with them we've worked with schools we've written books to help kids on the mental fitness side of the game that have all come out of our our little home here in the northeast so wraparounds homegrown in america and again our family uh, works on this day in day out trying to make it better every single second that we're working on it and then i gotta give a shout out too to our amazing community of people that believe in it you know from from day one we wanted to enable the hockey player and the hockey parent to have a say in how this process went and you know like you said a decade later you know the tens of thousands of followers and people that love our product man does that make coming to work every day fun getting that feedback and that love so yeah man it's a really fun story and a, and a great company to work for yeah and it's been so exciting to watch from that original version which has now evolved into the weighted version to see where it is now <laughs> you guys have came a long way and that you know the success proves it so lee just wanted to say congrats on all the success thank you for walking us through the weighted wraparound we really appreciate you thanks buddy thanks for your belief in us and i uh, appreciate the support and for you at home that want to check out both versions of the wraparound make sure you head over to icewarehouse.com <laughs>